Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video we are going to learn how to find second highest element from array in Java 8 using stream API. For example, we have a array of integer and it contains number 5, 13, 41, 88, 99, 77. So we can we need to find the second highest element from this array so we can see 99 is first highest number from this array and 88 is second highest element from this array so our output will be like 88 as a response so okay let's start to write the code so how we can find second highest number using java 8 stream api So here we have array of numbers, integer of array. So now we need to find the second highest element from this array. So first we will think in mind we need to sort these all elements then we can easily find the second highest element. So okay let's start to write the code. So first so now we need to use Java 8 stream api so first i will convert our numbers into stream so this is arrays dot stream and here i will pass numbers that is integer array so after that we need to convert this integer into integer so this is just data type Primitive data type and now we need to convert this primitive data type into wrapper class that is integer. So here I will just call boxed. So as we know unboxing and boxing concept that is the same. So after converting our int data type into integer now we need to sort all the elements. So here I will just call sorted and we also need to maintain this array into descending order so if we want to get all elements in descending order then we need to call comparator dot reverse order if we will not pass comparator dot reverse order function inside sorted as a parameter then we will get in ascending order and we need in descending order all the elements so we will call reverse order function here now we know after descending list we will able to find the second element here so as we have sorted all the elements in descending order and as integer array sorted in descending order and now second element will be in the arrays will be the second largest number so now we need to skip our first element so here i will call skip and we need to skip fun first element so i will pass skip one and after skip first element from the descending order list now 88 will be the first element so we need to find first and find first will return optional object so we will call get function and we will get integer value directly here So now I will just print the second highest element. Okay, let's run this application and check the output. So here we can see the output is 88 and 88 is the second highest element second highest number from this array and if we want to find second lowest element from this array then we just need to remove this and run this application again so here we can see 13 is the second lowest number from this integer array in this video we are going to learn how to find highest paid salary employee from each department by using java 8 stream api okay let's see in the code 
how to find highest salary employee from each department so here i have created one employee class and inside employee class i have added four properties one is employee id employee name employee department and employee salary and here i have created one constructor with parameterized constructor and one is zero parameterized constructor and other is set or getter method for all the properties and here i have created two string methods so we can print the output of employee object and we can check the response so okay let's start to write the code in main class so in this first i will create list of employee so here i have added five employees uh, first is employee id 1 from tab department salary 5000 and second is id 2 agam from dev department so here our requirement is to find the highest paid salary employee from each department so we can see from dev department the highest salary paid employee is agam and next we can see from another department qa we have two employee and highest paid salary employee is nikhil from qa department and next third one is only ba from pa department here is only one employee so highest paid salary employee is just free from pa department so okay let's start to write the code so we need to compare all the employees based on its salary so here i will create comparator and this comparator will compare all the employees based on its salary. Comparing by salary. So here I will just call comparator dot comparing, and here I will call employee dot get salary. So it will create, it will compare all the employees based on its salary. So next, what I will do here, I will call employees so first i need to convert list of employees into stream after that i can apply java 8 stream api functions like collect and here i will just call collectors dot grouping by so first we need to group all the employee based on its department so here i will call employees get department so here i will get the list of employee and grouping will be based on departments next we need to call collectors dot reducing function we need to call and reducing function returns a collector which perform a reduction and of its input elements under a specific binary operator so here we need to call binary operator and max by here we need to pass comparing by salary So after that I will just assign a local variable and here I will just print the output. So here I will introduce a local variable and we can give any name like map so now i will just print this map and we'll check the output now i will run this application run so as we know we have five employees two from dev department and dev department highest paid salary employee is agam so here we can see the output from qa we are just getting nickel and salary is 8000 because we can see here from QA department highest paid salary employee is nickel 8000 so we are just getting one employee from QA department and from dev department we are getting highest paid salary employee is agam that is 7000 so here we can see inside dev there are two employees one has 7000 and second is 5000 and we are getting 
this employee in dev department from dev department and inside ba, de BA department there is only one employee we are just getting just pre having salary 11000 so like this we can find the highest paid salary employee by using java a stream api in this video we are going to learn how to write a java program to find elements from integer of array who starts with value 2 using java a stream api for example we have array of numbers which contains value 34 57 28 99 21 10 52 so now we need to find the element who starts with value 2 so here we can see 28 is starting from 2 and 21 is also starting from 2 so we have two elements which starts from value 2 so our output will be like 28 21 so okay let's start to write the code so here i have created one class and inside this class i have created one main method so now i will declare the elements that is integer of numbers array of numbers so now what i will do first i need to convert array of numbers into stream after that we can apply java state stream api method so here i will just pass numbers so now we need to do unboxing so i will convert integer into wrapper class so i will do dot box so what i will do next i need to map our integer into string value so what i will do here i will just convert our element into string so here we can use string dot value or we can also use empty string after that we need to pick those element that starts with value 2 so here i will use filter and here i just check element dot starts with 2 only element i will store into new string so here i will just call collector collector dot to list and here i will just store list of string So now I will just print this output system dot out print ln output elements. Okay, let's run this application and we'll check the output. We need to find the element which value starts with 2. So here we can see the output is 28 and 21. There are two elements which starts with value 2. So here only two elements 28 and 21. In this video we are going to write a Java program to find longest string from array in Java 8 using stream API. For example we have string of arrays of names like Sumit, Karan, gain java knowledge vivek monty and from this string of arrays we need to find the longest string so how we can find the longest string so we need to calculate the length for each string and after that we need to compare length of each string then we will able to find the longest string from that array so here we can see the length for this name is 5 and the length for this string is also 5 and the length for this string is gain java knowledge 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so the length for this string is 17 and the length for this string is also 5 and the length for this string is also 5 so we can easily find the longest string is 7 longest string is gain java knowledge having length is 17 so how we can find with the help of code so okay let's see and start to write the code so here i have declared one main class find longest string from array and here i will show you with the help of two ways how we can find the longest string using java stream 
API. So here first I will declare the string of array of names. Now what I need to do first I need to convert names into stream. After that I can apply Java 8 stream API function. So first I will convert into stream. So here I will pass names of array. So after converting the string of array of names into stream, now we can apply all stream API functions. And here now I will apply max method. And inside max method we need to pass comparator. So here I will call comparator dot comparing by int. So I will compare each string with the help of length. So here we need to use comparator. So here I will call comparing by comparing int. And here I need to calculate the length for each string. So here I will call string colon length function. And this function will return me the optional object. So here I will call get method. So it will return me string value. So here I will assign string longest string now I will just print the output now I will just run this application and will check the output if it is working fine or no so as we know gain java knowledge is the longest string so here we can see the output is gain java knowledge so here if i will increase the length for this string so now i will just run this application again so here i have increased the length of this in string value so here we can see the output has also changed. Here is one more way that we can use to find the longest stream by using stream.reduce method. And stream.reduce method always accept a binary operator to get the maximum value. So here I will comment this code and just copy this line. And here we will call stream.reduce function. And inside stream dot reduce we need to pass binary operator. And inside binary operator we will just pass variable name so x comma y. And here we need to use lambda expression. So lambda expression to reduce the method. So here I will just compare x dot length. So here I will use ternary operator if x dot length is greater than y dot length then we will use x is a longest string otherwise y is longest string and this reduce method will return optional object so we will call get method so we will get the direct value so now i will run this application and will check the output So here we can see the output is Monty new member on this group. So like this we can find the longest string from array using Java 8 stream API. In this video we are going to learn how to find first known repeated character from a given string in Java. For example we have a string input is gain Java knowledge. From this string we need to find first known repeated character. So we will search one by one. So first we will check for G and inside this string we can search G. So here we can see it is duplicate and it is repeated character. So next we will search for A. So here we can see A is also repeated character in this string. So next we will search for i. So here we can see there is no more i. So we can see i is the first 
नोन रिपीटेड करेक्टर फ्रॉम दिस ट्री सो अवर आउटपुट विल बी आई फॉर दिस इनपुट but how we can find with java code okay let's start to write the java code so here i have created one class find first known repeated character and inside this class i have declared one main method and here i will just declare input string gain java knowledge now we need to find the count of each character occurrence from this string so what i will do first i will split this string based on empty array empty string so here i will just add double quote without space so now it will provide me string in form of string array now i will convert this string array into stream if i want to apply stream function so here i will convert this string of array into stream now i will call collect method and now i need to get the identity of each function from this string and also need to get the count of each character so here i will call collectors dot grouping by and here i will call function dot identity so if i want to maintain the insertion order then we need to use linked hash map here so here i will call linked hash map new as a parameter and now we need to get the count for each character in this string so here i will call collectors dot count count is a function so we need to call this so after that what output we will get we will get occurrence of each character from this string how many times g how many time a and how many times e is occurring in this string we will get output here so first i will print the output after that we will apply more filter to get the non repeated character so here i will do system dot out dot print ln so here i will just print the collect so now i will run this application so here we can see the output g is two time a is three times and i is one time so we can say i is non repeated character first non repeated character from this string and due to linked hash map we are able to maintain insertion order or access order so here we are getting the occurrence of each character but here we need to find the first non repeated character so what we will do we will just copy this collect and here we will call collect dot entry set and we need to convert this object into stream so here we will call stream function and on stream function we need to call filter so first we will do the filtration we just need to get the object and string character only which contains only one time which is occurring only one time that character we need to get so what we will do e dot get value if equal to equal to 1 then only i will store so here i will convert map and here i will call e we just need to get the keys of non repeated character so what i will do e dot get key and find first after getting all known repeated character i will pick first and it will return me optional object so i need to call get function so i will get output as a object so what i will do here here i just need to assign local variable so this is the output so now i will just print this output here
system dot out dot println first known repeated character okay let's run this application and we'll check the output So here we can see the output is i because i is the first known repeated character from this string gain java knowledge. In this video we are going to learn how to find all duplicate element from a given string in java. So for example here we can see we have input string gain java knowledge and here we can check the duplicate elements from this string like a is duplicate element because a is three times in this string like this we can also check duplicate e so here we can see e is also two times so we can say it is also duplicate element in this string and like this we can check for g g is also available two times so if any character is occurring more than one time in this string so we can say this is duplicate element in this string so okay let's start to write the code and check the duplicate elements from a string in java okay let's start to write the code so here it is input string that we are using gain java knowledge so first what we will do we will split this string and convert into stream so here i will call array stored stream method and inside this method i will just split the our string into array split this string and convert into array by using empty double quote so based on space it will convert and now i will store and use the grouping by collectors dot grouping by so it will store all the elements based on its group and grouping will be based on its functional identity based on each element and after functional identity of each element we will get the count of each character so here i will just call collectors dot counting function so here if i will print this collect then we can see how many duplicate elements are available in the same string that we are using so here i will call system dot out dot print ln so now I will run this program. So okay, let's run this application. So here we can see A is three time, E is two time, G is two time, and N is two time. So here we can see four elements are duplicates because these characters have occurrence more than one so we can say these are duplicate elements so we need output like this a e g n because we just need just want to print only duplicate elements so what we will do here we will apply some more functions so first i will convert into stream and we'll restrict and we'll just print the element if our occurrence is more than one time so here i will call filter method and here we can give the element so here i will just get element dot get value if value is greater than one then only print that element greater than one and we just need to store dot map and here i will use map dot entry and double colon then we will just print the keys only we no need to print the values after that we will just store into list so here i will call collectors.toList function 
collectors do to list so now our this will be changed because now we are getting list of string so here we will type list of string duplicate elements so now i will just print these duplicate elements copy this and just go down and here i will just print duplicate elements let's run this application again and check the output so here we can see the output a e g n so these are the duplicate elements which are present in this string so this was our requirement so like this we can find the duplicate elements from string in java using stream apis in this video we are going to learn how to count the occurrence of each character in string for example we have input string gain java knowledge so now we need to count occurrence of each character like how many times g is occurring in this string so here we can see it's one and two times and here we can see the output is g is equal to two like this we can check the occurrence for a character so here a is one two three so here we can see a is occurring three times in this string so today we will learn how to count the occurrence of each character using java 8 stream and inbuilt functions okay let's start to write the code so here i have just created one class and inside this class i have declared main method so now i will just add one input string value gain java knowledge so if we want to use java 8 stream so first we need to convert this input string into stream so what we will do first we will split this input using double quote empty space so it's empty string so we will split now after splitting this string we need to convert into stream so here we will use arrays dot stream method so now our string is converted into stream so now we can apply here java 8 stream methods now here we will call collect method so collect method is mainly used to perform a mutable reduction operation and concatenate the list of element so inside this we will call collectors dot grouping by so here the collectors dot grouping by method returns a collector implementing a cascade group by operation and input element types of t so here we need to find the identity of each element in the string so here we will call function dot identity method so it will collect the identity of each character in from this string like here identity for a identity is g so after that we need to count the all the characters so here we will call collectors dot counting so now it will count the occurrence of each character and will store the output so now we will need to store this output into a variable so here we will introduce local variable so here we will get output in collect so here we can change it as output so now i will just print the output and run the application so here we will call system dot out dot println and here i will just print output so 
so now i will just run this application and we can check the output of this program so here we can see the output and check the occurrence for each character so here we can see count for a is 3 and count for g is 2 in this string so like this we can check the output in this video we are going to learn how to sort a list in java 8 in this video we are going to see several example on how to sort a list in java 8 during a project development every developer comes across a situation where implementation of sorting becomes mandatory so today in this video we will mainly focus on sorting using java 8 okay let's start to write the code so here i have created one java class java 8 sorting demo so in this class first i will declare list of string so here i have created one list of names having string values so after that i will just print this list of names without sorting without sorting okay let's run this application so here we can see the output so as we know insertion order is preserved in list so it is printing the same order in which we have inserted in our list so if we want to provide sorting order then we need to call names dot sort method and inside sort we need to call comparator dot natural order after that we will again print list of names sorting with natural order method sorting with natural order okay let's run this application again and check the output so here we can see the output without sorting and here is the sorting with natural order but if we are using natural order method to provide the sorting then it will first place all the capital letter names after that it will print small case letter names because it is case sensitive but if we want to provide sorting with in case sensitive then we need to call string class method so here i will just call names dot sort and here i will call string class case insensitive order so again i will print all the names so it will provide the perfect sorting order because it is case insensitive so it will not check for small or capital case letter it will just provide natural sorting order okay let's run this application again and here we can see the output it will not look for case sensitive it will just provide the sorting order because it is case insensitive so these are the ways that we can sort the string values in java using java 8 like this if we have list of numbers then we can also use same methods sort numbers dot sort and we will call natural sorted method of comparator comparator dot natural order and after that we will just print these names so it will provide the sorting order of numbers ok let's run this application and check the output
so here we can see the sorting order of numbers 2 2 5 8 10 30 okay next we will see how to sort a object in java using multiple fields of the object so here i will create one model class employee and inside model class i will declare multiple properties and then i will sort employee object based on the multiple fields so here i have created one employee class and in this employee class i have declared three properties string name int age and double salary and here i have created one constructor so with the help of this constructor i can create the object of employee class and here i have defined setter getter properties and in the last i have declared two string method to print the employee object value now i will go to java 8 sorting demo java class and here i have created list of employees and here i have added three employee object in this list employees list so first i will do the sorting with the help of lambda expression after that we will look with method reference in the last we will check with stream method so here i will do employees dot sort method here we need to call same and here i will declare employee e1 comma employee e2 so here i will use lambda expression and here i will call because we need to provide the sorting of employee object based on name of the employee so first we will do sorting based on employee name so here i will call compare to method with second employee object get name so here i will close now i will just print the names of employees employees dot for each and here i will just print employee object so system dot out dot print talent so here i will just print employee object so here we are just comparing employee object with the name so it will provide sorting of employee object based on the name okay let's run this application so here we can see the output so here first is a after that k and in the last s so this is a sorting based on the names of employee now i will comment these lines of course we did this uh, comparison with lambda expression now i will use method reference to sort all the employees elements so here we are the same list of employees sumit karan arjun now i will do sorting based on method reference in java 8 so here i will just call collections dot sort method and inside the sort method i will choose employees dot comparator so here we need to call comparator dot comparing method comparator dot comparing and inside comparing method we will call employee get name employee get name that we are using method reference so now i will just print all the employees so here i will just copy this employee dot for each now i will just run this application and so here we can see the output first is arjun second is karan third is sumit so this is the sorting order based on employee names by using method reference in java 8 or here we can also use method reference like system dot out colon print and function here so we can also print names by using system dot out colon print ln
so here we are see the sorting order based on employee names so now if we will provide the sorting to employee object based on name and also based on age then we can just call then comparing and here we need to call employee get age so now i will just run this application and see the output So here we can see Arjun Karan Smith. We change the value of object. So here I will just to copy this name and we'll add one more object with same name Arjun, but here age will be different. Twenty five. Okay, let's run this application. So here we can see first Arjun and age 21. This is the sorting order, and after that Arjun age 25, then Karan, then Sumit. So now we are providing the sorting order based on employee name and employee age. If the name of both employee are same, then it will compare based on employee age. There are one more way that we can use to provide sorting in Java A. so we can sort with stream sorted method using java 8 to make sorting easy in java 8 we can use sorted method with that is overloaded method so we can use without parameter or with the help of parameter values so now i will comment this code and here we will see how to sort the list of employee by name and age by using stream api in java 8 so here i will write the code so here first i will create comparator for employee name and employee age so comparator here i will declare employee sort by name and here we need to use e1 comma e2 and here we will use e1 dot get name compare to e2 dot get name like this we can create one more comparator for age so let's create one more comparator and here i will write the comparator sort by age so here we will just call e1 dot get age and here i will call e1 to get age so here we need to use integer class for age so i have declared in private integer age so here now we'll go and here i will declare integer dot compare method integer dot compare method and inside this method i will pass e1 dot get age and need to pass e2 dot get age so here i have created two comparator sort by name and second is sort by age so it will first sort by name after that sort by age so here i will just write employees dot stream of java 8 dot sorted method here i need to call 
and inside sorted method i will just put the parameter sort by name so first it will sort by name employee object then it will comparing sort by age after that we can print all the object using for each loop and here we can just write employee system dot out dot print ln employee okay let's run this application and see the output so here we can see the output first is arjun age 21 after that arjun age 25 and third is karan fourth is sumit so first it will sort the employee object based in based on names if both employee have same name then it will compare based on the age so like this we can use the sorting order based on multiple fields of an java object in this video we are going to learn how to use join method of string class that was introduced in jdk 1.8 the java.lang string join method concatenated the given elements with the delimiter and returns the concatenated string in the response for example we have a list of numbers in the form of string 1 2 3 4 and we want to print this all elements in a single string and we want to add one common delimiter so we can use string dot join method and we can get the output like this 1 is less than 2 2 is less than 3 3 is less than 4 and there are two types of join methods in the java string so these are the two method signature in one method we can pass the delimiter and list of elements and in the second signature we can pass the delimiter and we can pass multiple string values okay let's see in the code how to use these two method signatures so here first i will print so here first i will add list of string so we need to import this class and also need to import list class so now inside our list of numbers we have four element 1 2 3 4 4 now i need to add delimiter 1 less than 2 2 less than 3 3 less than 4 then i will call string dot join method and inside join method the first parameter will be the delimiter which delimiter we want to use so here i will use less than delimiter and the next we need to pass list of numbers so here i will just copy and paste these numbers here so now i will just assign string output so now i will print the output and we'll check the response how it will work okay let's run this application So here we can see the response like one is less than two, two is less than three, and three is less than four. So this is the output, and join method was introduced in JDK eight, and the second signature was we can pass delimiter and multiple string values. So how we can pass multiple string values? So here I will just like string output. to is equal to string to join and inside this first we need to pass the delimiter so after that we can pass any number of element wake up then we eat then play after that we sleep then again wake up
so like this you can pass multiple elements then we need to print this output so let's print so i will just copy this variable name and we paste here okay let's run this application again and check the output So here we can see the output wake up, eat, play, sleep and again wake up. So like this we can use string.join method. In this video we are going to learn how will you get the current date and time using Java 8 date and time API. Okay let's start to write the code. So here I have just created one class and inside this class I will declare main method and inside this method I will just use local date API to get the current date local date API to get the current date so here I will just print the value of date system dot out dot print ln java dot time and next we need to call local date api so here i will call local date api dot now so it will print the current date so let's run this application and check the output So as we know today is 29 September 2023 so here we can see the current date if we want to print the current time then we can use local time API so here we will use local time API to get the current time so here what we will do here I will just print system dot out dot print ln and here I will call java dot time dot local time api dot now so here I will just print current date and here we will just print current time and if you want to print both date and time then we can use local date time api local date and time api so here we will do copy this current date and time so here we will just call local date and local date time api dot now current date and time so this api will return both current date and time ok let's run this application and check the output So here we can see current date is 29 September 2023 and current time here we can see 23, 28 and 25 like this we can check current date and time. So here we can see the date and after T we can see the time. So like this we can print or get the current date and time using Java 8 local date and local time API. Thanks for watching this video.